Yo, what up guys? So I'm gonna do something different today. So usually when I do these reviews, I have a lot of leftover foods and I just eat it the next day just because I don't really have it the same day because you know, calories and I watch what I eat, all that good stuff. But today I decided to just do something unedited. So if you guys don't like loud chewing, a lot of uhs, uh, see, <laughs> where else? Planes flying over and just being real authentic raw. Um, yeah, this video might not be for you. So, hey, all good. I'll see you in the next review video. But uh, yeah, so today I have leftover pepperoni pizza and uh, sweet potato fries from the Korean uh, fried chicken video. So we're just gonna have that, hang out, talk about life, you know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, but of course, like I said, this is a fitness channel, so I have my fat-free ranch. Honey mustard. No sugar added ketchup. And of course, dye root beer. Zero calories, zero sugar, zero everything. All right, let's do this. Um, I want some ketchup for the fries. So how you guys been, man? Everything's, it's crazy, right? Like at the time of this video, it's almost the end of the year. One more week or so until Thanksgiving. So by the time this video goes up, it's probably a couple days until Thanksgiving, but man, life is crazy. Anyways, let's get a bite. Hmm. Mm. I love dipping my fries into honey mustard as well. But yeah, guys, like I mentioned, it's almost end of the year. Man, it's crazy because I'll tell you guys a quick story, but I don't know what it is, man. I think, oh yeah, ranch on uh, pizza. I think you hit a certain age, they call it like a midlife crisis where you kind of just reflect on your life, right? And kind of just like, hey, you know, how life is going, is this, what you predicted, and if not, why, right? What happened? Mm. And for me, like I said, call it a midlife crisis, call it whatever, but I just start reflecting, man, like, you know, what's going on? Where am I at? Am I happy? And the answer was that was no, I was not happy. Was I depressed? No, not really. But was I living my dream life? And the answer also was no. You can't go wrong with that root beer, pizza, and sweet potato fries, all right? Anyways. So yeah, so I think maybe around the pandemic or maybe after, I started getting really into like self-development, improving your life. Because I've always been into fitness, right? So I understand that point of it. I used to be a fat kid. Not even a fat kid, like a fat person in my 20s. So I knew that I wanted to lose the weight, right? I always wanted to have the body of my dream. So started doing whatever it took to get to that point. And that's when I discovered how to, I just dip ketchup into, anyways.
right? So I wanted to lose weight back in the day and I didn't know how, but this was before YouTube kind of like blew off. So there wasn't like YouTubers I could learn from. So I started doing a lot of trial and error, right? Like anybody else, you go to the gym, you don't know what you're doing. I thought I had to eat, sorry. I thought I had to eat specific foods to lose weight. I thought there were quote, quote unquote magical foods, brown rice, chicken breast, broccoli, right? I had to take protein. I had to, you know, just a lot of myths out there, but it wasn't until I learned, it wasn't until I kept going and I learned like, okay, this works, this doesn't work. This was a myth. This is true. And when I learned all that stuff, the pounds just flew off, right guys? I was able to eat foods like this, right? By tracking my calories, all that good stuff, and still lose weight. And everybody kept asking me, like, what's your secret? What's your secret? All that good stuff. So I kind of wanted to educate people on that because I felt like that was like my thing. Here I am, this big kid, not even kid, well, I keep saying kid, this big person, lost like 50, 60 pounds. It was closer to 60 and you know, everybody kept asking me like, man, you look so good. What's your secret? And then this made me feel like a really good person, you know? Fast forward for to, fast forward to now. Yeah, fast forward now, it's kind of more now the direction of career, right? Relationships. And it's just, man, I really thought I'd have like a, still be in a corporate job, nine to five with a family, settle down by now. But like I said, guys, because I hit that midlife crisis or whatever, I really just start reflecting of what I really, of what it is I really wanted in life. And that was to make YouTube videos. Like it's always been that way, you know? So. So I remember beginning this year, January 1st, I was in San Francisco at the pier, pier, not pier 39, but closer to the Bay Bridge, if you guys are familiar where that is. And just watching the fireworks. And I was a little drunk, I'll be honest, but I remember just staring there, looking at the fireworks with a bunch of, in, a, in a crowd with a bunch of people and just telling, telling myself like, bro, it's now or never, like, if you really want this, like you really, really want this, do it now. And I commit it. One full year, let's see what happens. Right? Are you all talk or are you gonna do this? I told myself that. And it's the same mentality I had when I lost a lot of weight. Are you all talk or are you gonna do this? And it didn't connect to me that, hey, why didn't I take that fitness gym diet mindset about what I've learned and how long it took me trial and error and apply that to the rest of my life. Like it didn't dawn on me. I don't know why it never did. But I was like, hey, yeah, like when I lost weight, it was about consistency being patient and getting 1% better every day, right? Why didn't I apply that to the rest of my life? So here I am. <laughs> and that's the thing. 
And that's the thing too that I want to talk about is just being patient and consistent. Those two the most. Because like I said, ever since 2011 when I graduated or around that time frame, I knew I wanted to do something on camera. I knew I didn't want to go to Hollywood. I knew I didn't want to act in theater. I just wanted to have fun on YouTube. And of course, right, people that never been there, never took that path, don't really understand. So they say, hey, be realistic, right? You gotta be realistic, man. There's no money in YouTube. You need to grow up. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. <laughs> oh, yeah. So. And that's the thing, too. So I opened my YouTube channel in 2017. But this was when I was trying to get into like marketing, digital marketing. So when I learned how to do social media marketing and email and video, right? So that's why I opened up a YouTube channel. But it wasn't, it was to get a job. Like a, yeah, it was to get a job, not to start a YouTube career, right? Because to me back then, For some reason, back in my mind, I just said I couldn't do it. I had so many self doubts. And what I mean by that is My girlfriend at the time, right, she used to watch a lot of makeup tutorials and one of the girls were like super pretty. I was in fitness, so a lot of the guys were on steroids and pretty good looking, right? Good looking guys that blew up. And I was like, oh, that could never be me. I'm not the best looking guy. I'm Asian. I don't know what that had to do with anything because there's a lot of Asian YouTubers, but Again, a lot of self-doubt. I didn't want to do steroids. I had no desire to do it, but I love fitness. I love getting in shape. But why would anybody listen to me, right? I'm not a steroid guy. You know, I'm not this big guy. I'm just this guy that lost a lot of weight. But, oh, like I said, a lot of self-doubt. Never thought I could do it. But around the pandemic time when everybody's at home doing nothing, right? We can go out. Actually, even before then, I'll take that back. I left my corporate job in 2018 to try to pursue it. Not understanding that. When you first start off, you don't know what you're doing, right? So I don't know how, like, how to act. I don't know how to edit. So as I'm learning all these new skills, it took me so long to upload one video. It took me like eight hours, right? Just to learn how to do everything. Well, how do I do this? How do I do that? And it's very discouraging when you spend a lot of hours on a video, like again, eight hours per video, starting out, right? Cause you don't know what you're doing and only getting like 10, 20 views, if that, 30. It's very discouraging and yeah. So I just said, man, you know what? This is probably not for me. So I'll go on and off for the next two, three years. Um, so you guys 
hey, I'm back, and now I leave again, you know, I want to upload another video for a couple more months. But like I said, it wasn't until I understood about consistency and getting 1% better and just being patient. It just didn't dawn on me, guys. I don't know why. I don't know why I keep dipping my pizza on these in ketchup. Yeah, I don't know. But this year, I made a commitment January 1st. But then I really got sick, right? Of course, right when you want to start your goals, like, I'm going to do it January 1st. I'm going to do it. I got sick. So I didn't really start. I didn't upload my first video until like, I think it was like around Valentine's Day. So February 14th-ish time frame. When I started uploading videos, I start. I want to start two channels. So this channel and then my self-development channel, because that's why I was really into it back in the day. Not even back in the day. I'm still into it. But I wanted to make videos. I was My mindset was, if this doesn't work, Maybe my self-development uh, YouTube channel would take off. Uh, but yeah, I started doing more tips and tricks, right? How to do this, five ways to lose weight, all that good stuff. But it was okay. But again, the scripting took a long time. Filming, editing. I remember saying there, thinking to myself, I do love fitness. I do love giving you guys tips and tricks. But I asked myself in five to 10 years, do I still see myself doing this? I just felt like I'm gonna run out of things to say, or I'm gonna start repeating myself, right? Because guys, fitness is not that hard. Yeah, there are things you can do, the things you can learn, but at the end of the day, again, it's just being consistent, tracking your calories, all that good stuff. So yeah, I can talk about that, but eventually I felt like in a year or two, I'm just gonna start repeating myself. And that's why I noticed about these other fitness YouTubers. They usually adapt to their business and talk about other stuff because after a while, it's just the same things over and over, you know? It's not a bad thing. But for me, I just wanna keep things fresh. And that's why I wanna do more food reviews because I was like, hey, Possibilities are endless. I've been dying for so long. There's a lot of foods I haven't tried yet. So why don't I just turn on the camera and do these reviews? Like I haven't had pizza in so long, right? All that good stuff. So, yeah. That's the direction of the channel I'm going uh, towards. And it seems like you guys like it. And yeah, I'm just gonna keep going. But if you made it this far, does any of this like resonate with you guys? Like, are you guys, do you guys have like dreams and goals? Because, of, but because of like limb beliefs, self doubt that it's holding you guys back, like it used to hold me. Because I'll be honest, I get that from my friends a lot still. And as much as I want to help them realize their true potential, I can't want it more than they want it, you know what I mean? 
just like they want me to be successful, they can't want it more than I can want it, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, so my, I have a couple of friends. I'm not gonna say no names, obviously, but one friend likes to play the compare game, right? I always say, don't compare yourself to others, just compare to yourself. Just compare yourself to your past self, right? But don't compare yourself to this person, right? Your chapter one versus this other person's chapter 20. You know, especially with YouTube, right? Oh, this person has X amount of subscribers. I don't have this much. Oh, this guy has the most more expensive equipment than me. I don't. So it's like, therefore, this person can do it and I can't. But we all have to understand that we all have to start somewhere, right? There's a point in time with that successful YouTuber who is at the same place as you, one point in time. So that's why I don't like comparing myself, right? So I have my this friend of mine that likes to do the compare game with me. Oh, Louis, when you lost a lot of weight, uh, this is when I was going to college still, right? You know, you only went to college, I have a full-time job. And then when I had a full-time job, oh, you, you did this because you don't have a family, now I have a family. And it's just like the back and forth of just like, bro, like stop comparing yourself to me because you're already saying you can't do that because you don't have this, therefore you can't do that. You know what I mean? So. And then uh, other friend, I forgot what he wanted to do, but his reasoning is Oh, I'm too old. I'm like, too old? Well, again, saying you're too this, you're too that. I can't do this because of that. You're already setting yourself up for failure. You're already saying you can't do it without even trying. Because now you're putting age into it. Oh, because I'm this much, because I'm this old, I, therefore I can't do this no more or whatever. Even though that's your dream, that's, that's his dream to do whatever it was. I'm too old. There's a quote from uh, Henry Ford. I think it's a Ford guy. Whether you think you can do it or whether you think you can't do it, you're probably right. Meaning, if you think you can't do it, you're right. If you think you can do it, you're right. You know what I'm saying? My last friend, there's no urgency. I say, hey man, like if this is your goal, if this is your dreams, man, you gotta do it now, man. Like, what are you waiting for? Oh, you know, age is nothing but a number, right? More age. The other guy was more age. I can't do it because I'm this old. The other guy has no urgency. Oh, like what's what's the rush? I'll get to it when I get to it. Nothing changes if nothing changes. That was a quote by Theo Vaughn, a comedian that I watched. Guy's hilarious, but who said nothing changes? If nothing changes. This caller called in and said, Hey man, I was listening to your video or whatever his podcast. And he said that he was so tired of his current job. He decided to apply to this other job that he felt like he wasn't qualified for. But he said, you know what? I'm going to try anyways. Ended up getting hired. Ended up getting double the salary. And it's all because he applied himself. Like he didn't think he was going to get it, but he went for it anyways. So like I said, nothing changes if nothing changes. So...
if my friends are watching out there, if you're watching out there and you're tired of your life, but you're not willing to do something to change it, then you're always going to get the same results. You know what I mean? Sorry guys, you know, like I said, I had a self-development channel and I had this channel and I kind of like mixed it into one. So I don't like to sound preachy and stuff because that's probably not why you guys are here. But sometimes you need somebody, like I wish I had somebody like an older brother to tell me these kind of things, you know what I mean? Back when I was in my 20s and, you know, imagine how far I would be if I had that same mindset I have now back then, like, right? That'd be crazy. Yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm done eating. Uh, if you made it this far, yo, what's up? Um, but uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to bring the shreds. Peace.